Hello friends. Welcome to LSMW third class. We have successfully completed two classes batch recording and uh, out of this syllabus we completed this one and batch recording and uh, LSMW how to validate the data. Today we are going to cover this uh, BDC recording and direct input recording. After that, uh, we will cover this poppy and IDOC. This is a small topic, it doesn't take maybe it will take only 2 3 minutes to cover this one. From uh, next month, uh, 28th June, I'm going to start two classes as I told you in my previous class. This one is the broadcasting. Broadcasting we are going to cover MTS and MTO. Broadcast by order. We will cover complete end to end cycle including PP. Those who are interested, this, uh, this is going to be a paid class and uh, maybe it will be priced at very low. Those who are interested, they can send the mail with this subject matter broadcasting with their uh, availability time also. Because so that I can uh, form the batches as per the time time also the major consideration second is uh, above for functional consultant this is also going to be start from uh, 28 june 2018 both the classes are going to be live classes only so these are not going to be the recorded classes both are paid but uh, priced at very low those who are interested can drop their mail to this mail id with the uh, subject matter this subject matter and this subject matter per interested course with their available time as well it is going to be around uh, expecting 15 days, 15 uh, classes. This will be maybe not required 6 hours or 7 hours. We can finish all those things. Implementations, other things. Whatever mentioned here, we can, we can finish this one. So, we will start our class. We'll First, we will see BDC recording. Then, we will move to batch input recording. BDC recording, we are going to record this K06, the secondary cost element. To record BDC, uh, in general, functional consultant has to give the recording to the ABAPA. ABAPA will do the programming, then he will assign the T code that will be given to the end users. So, we are going to learn only how to record the transaction so shdb is the transaction code you can see here shdb just go here your recording your recording name given in mk06 i will give k06 code so this will be as this now change start recording controlling area on the statement and 47 0101201 PDC so this is the code this is a don't make any mistakes for example if you make any mistake during the recording just cancel this one and record it again so it's better to record rather than means giving the wrong code to the above this will generate the code we will save this one what above will do he will create one program like this transfer from recording Program already exists. Run the test BDC. Double programs. Package means to transfer from one client to another, we need package. If it is a local specific to the same client, then no need to give any package. We can select local object. <coughs> so 
this is the code generated by uh, BDC. So this code he will use from here to here he will use a buffer will use this code and he will uh, create one program BDC program. If you execute this program it will be like this. Right now it is not dynamic. You can see generate session and call transaction. There are two there are uh, two methods in uh, BDC. One is the call transaction. It will go and read one by one. I mean, uh, direct live. It will call the transaction and it will pass on the data to the K060 code. This is session means you can create the batch from there. You can run in the background or foreground or display or whatever may be. So, based on your requirement, you can uh, run. Right now the data, right now I created one just, uh, I created one cost element. So the data is already there, means uh, hard coded. That is the reason it's showing cost element already exists. So this code means not dynamic, Abapper will make it dynamic. If you go inside this code, you can see this, this is hard coded here. This is hard coded here, this is hard coded here. So that is the reading, uh, that is the reason it is showing as already exist. So, it's simple, but you should uh, take a reasonable care while recording the BDC. If you make any mistake, just cancel that BDC and record, record it again rather than giving the wrong one. In our this class, this uh, above for functional consultant, we are going to see how Abapper will do the programming and we will make it dynamic. We will create one call session and uh, session and call transaction. Both we are going to see how it will work practically. So that's it. We have successfully completed this PDC recording. There is nothing complicated here. Just you have to record. You have to exercise reasonable care while recording. So now we will start discuss direct input uh, project will be the same project it will be GL because this is a sub model GL direct MP01 MP01 post uh, main objective as I told you earlier as well this course is not going to be means uh, specific to FI or CO, MM, ASD it's not specific to one module this is the main objective of this course is to uh, you understand the concept of how we are going means how we are uh, doing the things in LSMW so take that concept and apply that concept in your respective module it will be the same so maybe you may be an <clears throat> you are under the impression that I am teaching all means in the, in the training I am discussing more about the FI and CO only focusing on these uh, transaction business process so because I know this well so that is the reason it's better to focus on this thing rather than making any R&D on other models you can make it's not a very complicated one you can make depend on our interest it will take time <coughs> It is not there, we have to create GL. Post. Post document. Select. We are not going to, uh, going to discuss these uh, steps in detail again. We have already discussed in first step. We have uh, successfully completed this one, batch input recording. Today we are going to discuss this uh, MP0. These are already structures. In our uh, batch recording, we captured the structure means uh, the fields which uh, are required by us. We captured. We recorded one uh, uh, recording. We, we did the one recording of the T code. Then we captured the required fields there out of the structure. Maybe this structure. I'm talking about uh, this structure. There 48 fields were there, 48 out of 48 fields we captured 7 fields that is required by us. So that is the batch recording. But whereas in case of uh, this direct input, SAP has already provided the structures there. Like uh, for example if you post any document, 
that will hit uh, these tables header table bkpf and uh, bsec bsec line item so these uh, structures already provided here in direct in other structures as well provided whatever the required like tax structure other relevant open item this is 100 object financial value this is directing set maintain source structure as it is as we discussed earlier it will be source only source structure we are creating these structures in batch recording we created this structure this structure one and uh, this uh, structure two we created in the step one so whereas in direct input both the structures are already available there's uh, no need to create this up to we can skip directly only we have to create this one and then we will map this to this <coughs> we'll see how to select the source fields I will go here, I will create the two structures here, one is the header, one is for the BKPF, second one is the BC. Select lower level, B, B This is BKPF. Go here, here we have two and uh, mapping. This is mandatory. Just uh, select the BKPF here. This is the BKPF document header. You can see this is BKPF. We will map the same BKPF again here. So, this is BSEC. Map the BSEC structure. So, in a batch recording, if you remember the batch recording, system automatically did this mapping. So, no need to uh, do this mapping in batch recording. But whereas in a direct input, we have to map our structures properly here. Save this one. Here we will, we will select our fields, whatever the fields required by us for our structure, we will select here. Uh, double click on this, we will get the structure. This is a structure. This is SAP already provided B, BKPF. Document header for accounting document, batch input structure. This is the batch input structure. So you select whatever the fields required by you. Based on your requirement, for example, this is company code and uh, BL date. We can see here. See, this is BL date. This is document date. This is document type. This is company code. So I have already selected what are the fields required by me. This is company code, this is document date, posting date, currency, document type, reference, document header. These are the fields which we are going to use in our template. This is very simple. Let's double click on this one. Double click and select the BKPF fields required. What are the fields required for your entry? You select. You select here. Similarly, we will select this one, B sec. <coughs> this, this is a posting key. I will 
I'll show you one two example. Then we'll continue over. See, posting key for the next line. This is GL vendor. GL vendor means you can use either GL or vendor based on your requirement. This is amount, the business area, cost center, tax code, text. I have selected these fields from this structure. Yes. And now our structure is ready. I copied this from the structure only. If you go here, here you have the length. You can copy like this. You copy, control Y, copy and uh, paste it in our Excel sheet and filter the fields required by you. maintain source fields here I am going to use one uh, identifier or a serial number whatever means uh, you can give any name what is the object this field is not available in the structure the structures which we are using this field is not available there we are adding one field we will change it to identifier or uh, I will use SLN serial number. So I am going to add this same to this as well. So we need this one. I will copy header put the cursor on source. This is BKPF. You can change from the source to BKF here. Now, now your structure, both the structures are ready. very simple rather than using batch recording you can use this already available structures Structure is and so template is ready. This is going to be our template. Document data, document date, serial number. This is going to be our template. This is for BKPF, this is for BSEC. This is for BSEC, this is for BKPF. Give serial number one. I will tell you what is the reason. Even this one, company code, document date, forty seven zero five zero one eight. Posting date going to be the same. Two zero one eight. Currency INR. SA document type. Direct input. This is the serial number one. <coughs> Posting key 40. GL. We will use this GL. We will use this GL and call center.
If this is enabled here, tax code, then only we can be able to see in your B01 tax code field, otherwise that won't appear there. See, tax field is here. So this is one entry. This is one. This one reference here. We are selecting one serial number. He is referring, saying that this one BKPF header is related to this BSEG entries. For example, if I want to post another entry here, I will copy this. I will make it as two. This is going to be a three line item debits. Three line item credit. So system will understand that this two 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 two, this two forty debit and three debit line items and three credit line items. The header of this line item is this one. Testing, testing line item, SLN mode. Hope you understand this concept. <coughs> we won't map this field, even though we mentioned this field in our structure. We are not going to map this field to any way. This will be system will take care of the things. We will show. Practical. I will show you practically. We already maintained the structures here. Coming to field mapping and conversion rules. So these things are not required. Like a bug code or something. We will uh, <coughs> go here. Auto field mapping because everything is. Going to be passed from template only, so we are not going to use any constants or other things. So you can see here, these are the fields mapped automatically. But even though after mapping, there are other initial fields. Initial means empty fields. Those fields which are not mapped to any source 
template so these fields we don't need so you can go here so hope you understand if you remove this all the fields are available all the fields those available in the structure bbkpf and bbz these are completely available you have to choose which fields you need then you have to map you have to prepare your template accordingly and map the same to this in fifth step so there is nothing in the this one specify files here this is the first file we will use two files here not five not one file in our previous class batch recording we used only one file for uh, this specify file steps but here we are going to use two flat files rather than using one flat file i will create one file for the headers and another file for piece of line it bkpf you can choose any name like one this is going to be tabulator file and field names get start of the file so similarly you have to create another file here now you can see only one file you have to create another file this is a new step flat to tabulator and field names at the start of the file so in our if you remember our previous batch recording system proposed automatically specify once we specify the files in sn files system automatically assign this file in a batch recording but whereas in a direct input and bobby you have to assign your files here select this is the source is bkpf remember please uh, this flat file one referring to the bkpf this basic now read you copy your data you copy your data into your flat files into your flat files so we are going to pass two entries here so hope system will generate two documents based on this one two settings read the files This is the BKPF first file. This is the BC second file. Display. See that system map not automatically. This is the first entry. We have one header here. If you see, one header, one one two serial means we have two line items. In the second, we have six line items. the mapping will be done automatically but you have to mention that tsl that is the trick these are the cost elements convert the data <coughs>
so everything looks okay we'll see Set up first one. Here you have direct input. Or if you want to create the batch, you can create the batch as well. You see this one. Log. We will check the documents that are posted on LP03. LP03 reference testing. Something is wrong. System created batch here. That is the reason I don't see any entries. I will process foreground. See, this is a demo. You are getting one error. This is not error. This is warning. So. This is second entry. Long press. We'll see these two documents. See, these are two documents. System successfully created two documents. See, these are the three debits and three credits, and this is the tax code V0. Session transfer the file. Business area doesn't exist. H value doesn't exist. Special character for entry field is forward slash session. Posting was open. Posting was dated. Again, we will create the another batch.
to the page 35. Yeah. If you run this batch in display errors only, you are getting error showing that BSEC MW SKZ. This is the tax code, doesn't exist in the screen. SPM. It is validating the screen because as per our template we mentioned here v0 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 but uh, system is unable to find this uh, tax code field for this one cash in hand account that is the reason even though you are trying to run in the in the foreground where uh, the display errors only even though there is no practically there are no errors in our files even the system is passing the entries due to this reason system is unable to process and it is showing the screens then again you have to press system post to entries you can go and see we already posted to earlier Four address posted. You will see how to correct this, fix this issue. Go to LSW again. Go to this fifth step. Go to that field where exactly we are getting. This is the field. Now click on this one. This is the code here. We will write a small code. If This is the source BSEC structure we created. We will say we will write the code like this. If source field is initial, source field is initial. Then target this field equal to no data. Else target equal to source. see how system is we will convert again the same batch same file go to sm35 earlier you are getting error here, display error soon. Still, we are getting errors. Right. 
sorry actually i forgot to say one thing that after writing this course you have to convert again so no need to no need for breakpoint i will remove the breakpoint because we didn't convert the data that is the reason we got this means still the issue was the same I will show you before data, then we will see display converter data. If you go here, 1, 2, 40 and 50. See, sales tax, this is blank right now. Convert. See sales tax code is forward slash no no data. If you see this one, here we have hope. Hope there won't be any issues this time. Right now we have posted up to here 16 documents, 16th is the last document. When we try to post from the LSMW direct input method, batch created. The reason for the information is that system is trying to validate this business area. We got the message that business area doesn't exist. If you go and see my recording, then you will understand the starting. When we first tried the direct input again we will try I, uh, I copied this information I removed the business area then I updated this one without the business area so if your information is proper system will create directly direct input it won't create any batch but if you have any issues if you have for example here you have option create batch input direct input we are going going to is direct input no log with log I will create now. So in our previous, uh, when we run this for the first time with this uh, D mode, system didn't post anything. Rather, it created the batch with the warning message that showing uh, business area doesn't exist. Now we will see. I remove the business area. Then I am trying to post. System won't create any batches. It will go and hit the data database. Now you can see that this is up to 16 we have to 16 records i posted just now one document i will refresh see it posted this entry so hope uh, this is clear direct input method if you have any comments any concerns then please drop your mail at this mail id if the video is if you like this direct input class please don't forget to like comment and share upcoming class will be on copy with Ada. Ada. and uh, transport lsm so once we finish this tool we will successfully finish all the topics so this one and this one direct input is already done so bob and idoc this this is already done this is already done so this this thing and bob idoc we will discuss in the upcoming class please don't forget to comment now if you like this i don't know if you like this direct input class or other previous previous classes these are the two batches as i said so at the starting of this video if anybody is interested please send the mail with the broadcasting subject matter and uh, above for functional consultant and don't forget to mention your times as well this is going to be paid to us um, 
I will send the I will share the syllabus for this what exactly we are going to cover in this. Thank you very much.